Hello there, my name is Ismaus and uh, this is I think part 6 of our training series and we're going to be making this, adding this uh, socket uh, into our scene. So let's see how to make that. Uh, so let's uh, go to layout and uh, I can't work out uh, the details of this but uh, I think it's a socket and a switch so let's uh, add a, a plane. And get it. 90 degrees scale it to get uh, the shape apply the scale and rotation I uh, will insert this then uh, bevel this and uh, then let's see let's see what else can we do add a loop cut then delete this side add a mirror modifier uh, so the top part is going to be our socket and then the bottom part I will add a switch so let's begin by adding our switch so let's first apply this uh, because it will be easier to work like this uh, than uh, yes that so I will insert this again then uh, add a loop mm, select this loop and then extrude that in like that Let's see. Yeah, I'll extrude in, extrude that like that, and then. So this is going to be our switch. So we can push it out like that, and then select these. Push that in like that. It's going to be a really large switch, and uh, can add in a loop here. I maybe let's just se separate this. Hit Y to make it separate, and then P uh, to separate it and make it make it, make it its own object. Uh, then can select add a loop cut uh, there. Select that and then push that in a bit. Then select that loop cut and bevel that. So we have something like it. that looks uh, similar to this, and then we can unhide. So let's make uh, the circuit part. Uh, again, we can add a loop. Um, instead of doing that, yeah, I think we can add a loop. Uh, add a loop here, and uh, select this part. Push that in. So we have something like that, and uh, then we can add a loop here. I don't want those extra loops so what I'm going to do is just maybe add one extra loop here then select this part and uh, separate it with P then I can add a loop there a loop here with that uh, so add a loop here add a loop I think this is supposed to be around there us ah, and then bevel those two then add a loop there add a loop there bevel those uh, we need to select these bevel that like that now we can select uh, these faces insert the insert them uh, push them in a bit and then extrude in so we have our wall socket uh, like that maybe the switch is a bit too big so I can scale it down a bit like that uh, maybe let's make uh, two switches so we can shift D duplicate this uh, make sure that uh, they are all they can fit in the space we give them push this to the side and uh, do the same for this now one should not be switched on so I can select this uh, go to the front side and I use this shear tool to turn it back on 
I think the bend was too much, so I don't know. At, uh, from a distance, it's, it's okay. Uh, so the other thing I can add here, maybe let's join these into a single object and then add a bevel modifier. Just for some extra roundness and mm -hmm. then select uh, the outer loop, extrude that and now we have our socket switch. So we can uh, rotate this, scale it down and uh, bring it to our s into our scene as well. So if you go back to shading, so yeah, we have our socket done. Uh, let's see what else can we add in here thank you what else can we do here this requires a bit of time so yes uh, in the next lesson we'll look at how to make these towels uh, different ways to make these towels